How's everything going here at PCIM? Nice, nice to see you. So what do we have here at Vicor today? Well, what we have today is uh, I think we have evidence uh, that uh, uh, we are expanding uh, our uh, power design methodology with uh, components that allow users uh, to build uh, an entire system end-to-end, -end, okay, from an input source all the way to the point of law. Very nice. In particular, uh, at PCIM, we are introducing a couple of front-end products. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, it's an AC to DC front-end. It comes in our uh, VIA package. VIA stands for Vicor Integrated Adapter. Uh, this is a product uh, that's uh, very thin, 9 millimeter profile, process uh, 400 watts. Okay, it includes uh, incremental uh, features like EMI filtering, mm -hmm. transient suppression, and uh, inrush control. It produces a 48 volt output. We also have a version with 24 volt output. And in combination with our uh, ZVS point of load regulators, allows users to take uh, an AC main and convert all the way down to the point of load in a seamless fashion, just using power components that are complementary with each other. Very nice, very nice, Claudio. So um, I see you got a little bit of a presentation here. Is there something to show us? Absolutely. So I think, uh, so first of all, uh, with respect to the type of products we are introducing at this event, we have uh, two front-end products, via PFM and a via BCM. Mm -hmm. The via PFM is an isolated AC to DC converter with PFC. The via BCM is an isolated bus converter. Mm -hmm. And then we have a new family of 48-volt uh, ZVS uh, back regulators. Very nice. Uh, getting uh, into the products and uh, just giving a quick overview, so th these products that I just referenced, uh, they are uh, integral parts of our uh, power component design methodology, which once again allow users to build an entire system with uh, scalable, flexible, and feature-rich building blocks okay, that get combined to build an end-to-end -end product, okay, whether you are converting from AC main high voltage DC or also medium voltage DC. So it's a complete building block system? Complete building block system, yeah. Very nice. Talking about the VIPFM, uh, so again the VIPFM comes in this uh, package. Uh, this slides uh, provides a point of reference on the level of integration and density okay, that we are achieving with this type of technology and to, to give you a quantifiable point of reference for AC to DC front ten products, we are now at about 130 watts per cubic inch. Uh, just in relative terms, uh, that's the difference in density compared to a standard, a typical competitive power supply. So one of the key advantages of these products and packaging technology is that uh, these are thermally adept packages. Mm -hmm. Uh, allow for uh, various uh, methods to thermal manage the product. Okay, they can be chassis mounted or they can be board mounted. Uh, for instance, uh, given the dimensions, the user can uh, use the sidewall of a 1U unit mm -hmm. okay, and cool the device to the chassis. It, it, that provides obviously for incremental uh, board area available okay, to further increase the density of the system altogether. Uh, it, this is the example here. So we have the, the product that's chassis mounted on the sidewall of a 1U system. It, it obviously that frees up plenty of space, okay, creating the opportunity to collapse the size of the entire power unit. Great. Uh, so these are some of the electrical characteristics. Uh, so these products are uh, capable of accepting uh, universal input. We have them in two versions, 24 volt output, 48 volt, 400 watts in this form factor. Uh, we have peak efficiencies in the range of 93%. Uh, they have active uh, PFC. Uh, they integrate a two-stage EMI filtering. Uh, and they also have transit surge in uh, e-rush control. Very nice, Claudio. Talk a little bit about the via B BCM. Again, this is... Uh, oops. 
front end the fixed ratio bus converter. Uh, the input range is 260 volt to 410 volt DC, 380 nominal. They come with a K factor of uh, 1 over 8. The output voltage nominal is 48 volts. Uh, output current 35 amps continuous with output power capability up to 1.75 kilowatts. Okay. Excellent. Factor. Excellent. Okay. It, it translates to a power density in excess of uh, 2,000 watts per cubic inch. The efficiency is 97.5% uh, peak, it, it just as we discussed uh, for the PFM AC to DC product. Okay. They can be chassis mounted and PCB board mounted. The, the other relevant part is that uh, these devices are parallelable, so you can build uh, multi-kilowatt arrays just by paralleling them together. Very nice. And with that, obviously, you can take advantage of uh, incremental density even for power levels at that level. Excellent. Uh, so once again, the, the VIA package provides uh, for uh, uh, increased thermal capability. Uh, giving the ability to cool the, the product in many different ways. And the other, the other relevant part about this product that they also have uh, PM bus control and telemetry in addition to the incremental functions having to do with filtering or uh, class B EMI compliance in active in rush control. So you have the digital control and you still have all of the functionality that you want out of uh, this absolutely. high performance. Yeah. Got it. So uh, I guess uh, some of the benefit uh, that uh, the users can take advantage uh, with high voltage distribution uh, have to do with uh, take advantage of uh, more efficient uh, power distribution uh, architectures. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So with the high voltage distribution, obviously conduction losses are reduced dramatically. And once again, in combination with our uh, point of load factorized power architecture products in our ZVS point of load regulators, users can uh, enable an end-to-end -end system okay, with benchmark performance relative to efficiency and density. Got it, got it. So then so, we have... No, go ahead. Please. Yeah, we have our, the expansion of our family of uh, cool power ZVS uh, point of load regulators. So we are now introducing uh, 48 volt ZVS buck. So the, the operating range for uh, ZVS, this ZVS buck regulator is up to 60 volts. So they can take 48 volt nominal uh, as an output uh, from our P P PFM front ends or BCM front end. Okay, and to this product, direct, convert directly 48 volt to the point of load. Once again, in combination with front-end products, we can now achieve uh, benchmark uh, efficiency going from 380 volt DC to the point of load or AC main to the point of load. End-to-end -end solution. End-to-end -end solution. So the family has been expanding, okay? Uh, there's been a progression uh, that includes uh, uh, product family of 24 volt, 12 volt. We have back boost regulators. We now have uh, ZVS back regulators that uh, operate from a 48 volt input bus. As soon we'll have also ZVS boost regulators and chip regulators, which will also integrate the inductor in packaging, use leveraging packaging technology of this kind, obviously with a much smaller form factor. And once again, together with uh, the rest of the products, they are part of uh, this power component design methodology. Nice. Uh, in terms of uh, capability of these products, uh, so they extend uh, uh, existing products that were limited up to 36 volt beam. These products, uh, they can go up to 60 volts. They come in a variety of output voltages. The first introduction uh, comes in a 10 by 10 system in a package. Okay, in, uh, for a back regulator of this type, uh, we can uh, process uh, over 100 watts, okay, with the peak efficiency exceeding 96%. Impressive. This is a representative example of the uh, efficiency. 
over the input voltage range. And uh, in terms of uh, deployment, it's uh, they're uh, equipped with a variety of features in terms of the design. The only thing that I require is uh, uh, minimal external filtering. There is no need to do any parametric setting and uh, just use a small inductor that in virtue of uh, our CVS technology and uh, high resolution frequency, the filtering components in their sides, it's uh, limited to a very small factor. Understood. So, is that all of the presentation? Is there anything else you wanted to leave our audience with? Well, I think uh, the relevant uh, part that I would like to have is uh, we now have uh, quantifiable evidence of uh, these uh, products that are expanding. Once again, they are flexible, they are scalable, they are very modular. Uh, I think uh, the key attribute for the customer is in addition to take advantage of uh, high performance okay, in terms of density, efficiency, and I would like to say also cost. Uh, I think uh, the important factor is also that given the modularity, the user can enable a complete system okay, without uh, incurring a tedious design cycle and therefore uh, minimizing the time to market, which uh, I believe is of critical importance uh, for any user. Agreed. Claudio, thank you so much for taking thank the time you. to be thank with you. us today. I really appreciate it. Thank you.